guys, it is Brooke with the Junk Parlor hopping on here for a show and tell. So I do not have very many things. I went to one person's house who was moving and had a few things to get rid of. And I went to an antique shop when we were traveling from Kansas City, Missouri back home to Iowa. Um, so I'm going to show you what items are available or what I picked. And if you're interested in anything, just let me know. But know that I do have sales on Facebook and Instagram every Sunday at 7 p.m. and Tuesdays at noon if you want to follow me over there on one of those platforms. And then also on Facebook, I have a first dibs group and they get to see a show and tell as soon as I get back from a pick and tell me what they want before I put everything out on a show and tell or on a Facebook live sale. So I am picking off some glue for my hands because I was just clamping something and realized that I have glue on my hands. So let's see what goodies we got. First up, we got this little trough. It would be great for your coffee table or the centerpiece of your table. It looks like it's been hand done. Um, it's definitely raw wood and is a, just a great piece. Then another great piece that I absolutely love. This one is galvanized. Has some nice little handles, but again, a great shape. You could put some pots in here and some plants. You could roll up some towels and put it by your bathtub. Just spray it down with a clear coat but there is the inside and I love those little handles. So I was excited about that. Then I got this silhouette, which has like a newer black frame, but great if you have like more of a modern home, you could always switch out the silhouette and put it in a vintage frame. Then I grabbed a couple of quilts. This one is hand quilted and um, nice and soft really in good condition. There are a few stains on it. I think that's one um, right there by my belly, but a great uh, quilt to do projects with, fold up and put on a shelf, drape on a ladder, um, put on your porch uh, chair or furniture would look really great. Now this one does look machine stitched um, or machine quilted, I should say. And it does have some damage here, especially in the center, like smack dab in the center. The rest of it is fine, um, but it looks like a star pattern. Whoops, it's a chandelier right there. A star pattern of some um, capacity. And so the center is what has the most damage. But again, depending on how you fold it, you won't even know that, or just draping it on a chair, you wouldn't even know that it had that um, damage or reuse it for a project. And then we have this wrought iron with some cast iron little planter um, that would be super cute, just sitting even on your entry table. You could do some greenery in here, turn a wreath on its side and do a little vignette. Has a great, great shape. Then I have some awesome old Valentines. Most of these are ones that are going to, um, what, pull out B stands. Some of them have a little bit of broken, like this one is a really good condition. All the pieces are um, moving how they should. This one, however, the little doves, um, it's got a little bent tail. Our little Cupid or Valentine here has a bent head. So she needs a little bit of love, um, but the birds should actually go on the inside and it does have some honeycomb. So this should kind of be three tiered. And like I said, it is a little bit damaged. Then we have this kitty cat and a train. Interesting combination with the honeycomb. We have a lace uh, Valentine. And these are made in the USA. This one possibly had a fold to it, but that is all that is left. And then we have this little sailboat one and it uh, isn't working quite perfectly. I think these, this little, the little kids should probably pop away from the blue flowers and they're not. But again, a little honeycomb piece. That one looks like a flower. And then I love this pink 
Again, it's needing a little bit of love so that it will actually pop out how it's supposed to as well, but beautiful, beautiful pieces. Then we have this old sheet music, still in the plastic, but it's copyright 1927. We have a cute little hen on a nest, a nice petite uh, size. We have an old milk carton. This is Red Wing, Minnesota. And I don't think it's been folded or it hasn't been folded in a long time. So I just left it, but you could totally, you know, fold it up and, and put it into the carton shape. I've had some that have been stapled um, there at the top to stay shut, but you could also use this as a vase this way. Just put a glass in there, put some flowers. That would be an option. We've got these orange salt and pepper shakers. We have the hen and rooster salt and pepper shakers. These are in Nesco and neither one of them have the little cork or plastic stoppers in the bottom. And I really like these. There's, they're, they're pretty much like a matte finish and just a little bit different than ones I've seen before. Then this I think is a tobacco, but it's a green chippy. You've got your little latch here, a handle. The reason I think it's tobacco is because of the bottom. That is pretty common on the old tobacco tins. And then this is some kind of knitting needle, I think, hook um, with the Bakelite handle. I'm not really sure what this little knife would have been used for, but it has a Bakelite handle. We have our little powder, and it seems to have been set on something that melted it a little bit or something that was hot uh, was inside it. And then we have this mirror, and it does have a little bit of damage here on this edge, but you could always just hang some fishing wire or do some twine and lace and hang this on the wall. Use a command strip on the back. You're not even going to see that damage. And then I have seen uh, silver champagne buckets before. This one is actually brass, and it's pretty tarnished. I just love, love, love the look. We have this old bunt pan or cake pan with the lid, and it does say made in Germany on the lid, so that's a pretty awesome piece. Then I think these are little chocolate molds, although I'm not really sure what the shape is. It's kind of unique. So there's a couple like that. These are pretty rusty crusty, but I'm just gonna spray them down with a clear coat and we will be good to go. I got three of these heart um, candy molds and then a bigger candy mold. Again, they've obviously been sitting somewhere with water. Spray them with a clear coat. You get that awesome patina and character without the crusty feel. And then I got this awesome little like secretary desk cubby. Love the details on it. Great to display your little smalls or you could actually use it as an organizer for, for some of your paper products. Okay, if you like my show and tells and the other things that I'm doing, be sure to go down there and tap that subscribe button.